What's up, what's up, what's up? It's T-Walk the Hawk. As y'all can see, I'm at home right now. I'm about to show y'all a five minute at home chest routine with just dumbbells. I got 30 pound dumbbells, so work with whatever you have. I know a lot of you, you want to build muscle. You want to gain size. You want to get swollen and everything like that, but you may not have a gym membership. You might be short on time and you want to get it in at home. So today, again, we're going to do a quick five minute exercise. You can cater this to whatever your goals are. So if you're a little stronger and depending on what weight dumbbell you have, you would want to go more sets, all right? So if you're a beginner, let's say you're in the beginning, you're new to it, you want to go through this one time. If you're a little bit more advanced, go through it two times. If you're even more advanced, go through it three times. If that's too easy, go through it four times. Either way, the key to this workout, keeping it under five minutes, short on time, we're taking short breaks, high reps, moderate weight, but push yourself, all right? Don't make it easy. So exercise number one, we'll grab dumbbells, Lay on back, as you can see, I don't have a yoga mat, so I'm just laying on the hard floor. If you have a yoga mat, I recommend it, but we're going to keep it moving either way, all right? So we're going to lay on back, all right? We're going to do just simple chest press, bend at the knees, elbows out, press it straight up, all the way down, control it, squeeze at the top, three, palms facing forward, four, five, six, it's going to be easy at first. But as you get through all these exercises, it'll start to burn. 10, 15, 15. all right. So, as you see, first exercise, we did 15 reps. Again, if you need to do more to get that burn, do that. But 15 reps is where, where about you should be. You don't want to do a weight that's so heavy that you can only do five reps. Stay in that 10 to 15 rep range, build that lean muscle, that's how we're gonna do it. Exercise number two, moving right along and get short breaks, about 30 seconds, if that, that way you can push it, get that quick pump, get on the box today. All right, we're gonna lay back again. Now, we'll do dumbbell, unilateral, all right, same idea. Unilateral means one side at a time, which allows you to make sure you don't have any imbalances, all right? So we'll go left first, all the way down, and right. see that's two exercises already next we're gonna flip on back over again we're not taking short breaks you got to get that pump if the weight ain't heavy enough and all you got is dumbbells you really got to shorten the time that way you can still get a quality workout and actually feel it all right if you're taking two minutes in between breaks and this is all you're doing you're not gonna get a good workout next we're gonna flip on over we're gonna do simple push-ups about shoulder width apart feet about shoulder width apart back straight move these dumbbells out the way and get on into it again, same thing. We're shooting for 15 to 20 on the push-ups if you can do more, bust them out and push yourself, all right? And 15, all right? So that's three exercises already. We're only about two minutes in, so we can really knock it out. We want to get that volume in, so today we're shooting for around six exercises. We can add in some more if need be. Maybe I'll make a part two. As y'all see, I'm getting out of breath. I'm getting winded, trying to talk, knock this workout out. All at the same time, let's keep pushing, all right? So now we're transitioning to standing up, so we're going to grab the dumbbells. These next exercises, I'm going to be honest, even for me, these 30-pound dumbbells are a little heavy. But I'm going to show you what we're doing. We're going to do, I call them close grip, squeeze upright roll. So we're going to squeeze the dumbbells together, keep them close. This is really focused on that upper inner chest. Keep them close, slight bend in the elbows. And we're going to bring it up near your chin, all right? So all the way down, bring it all the way up. Again, this is a little heavy. Two, three, same thing. Going for 15, all right? Push it. Alright, I hit 
12, again, he's 30 pounds. And as y'all see, these are some old school dumbbells, so they're a little heavier than 30 pounds. But that's the next exercise. What's that? Four or five exercises already. Again, we're only about three, maybe four minutes in at the max. Next, we're going to finish out with two more standing chest exercises. A lot of people don't realize you can do a lot of exercises for chest standing up. So that exercise I just showed you. Then these last two, and we're going to wrap it up. I actually just finished training chest at the gym. So I'm even more burnt out when I wanted to bring this to y'all. Because sometimes when I ain't got time to go to the gym, I got a busy schedule. You know, I just get it at home right here in my living room. For real, all facts, all right? So moving on to the next exercise. We're going to squeeze them dumbbells together again. Again, this is for that inner chest. I'll stand to the side. We're going to bring them up. Keep those elbows in. You don't want to flare it out. And we're going to squeeze them together. Press it straight out, all right? on that. Again, y'all can see I'm sweating. This is no joke. I'm starting to get burnt out. And this is just one time around. So again, depending on how advanced you are, if you're a beginner, just go through it one time. Keep doing that. Once you get more advanced, go through it two times. And once you're even more advanced, and you feel like professionally you're starting to get slow, then that's when you're going to go through it three times. And once you get the legendary level, you're going to hit it four times, all right? But again, today, just to keep it under five minutes, so we went through one set. Again, this is like the fifth exercise. Y'all see the sweat dripping down my face. I ain't got no heater set up or anything like that to make it happen. We're literally just here getting in with y'all. Right, so the very last exercise is going to be similar to the exercise we did two exercises ago. All right? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring it up towards your chin, slight bend in the elbow. But this time we're not going to keep it in close. We're going to bring it up to the chin on the way up. All right. I'm out of breath, all right? So instead of in and keeping it in, this time we're gonna bring it out. That's gonna allow you to execute um, a little bit more movement in the chest, allow a little bit more muscle fibers to fire, and really adding some more detail and definition, all right? So this is gonna be the last exercise for the day. Again, about five minutes, and I'm already dripping sweat, feeling swole, feeling pumped. So it's gonna be the same effect for y'all. Again, these are, dumbbells are actually a little heavy for me. But I'm pushing through because it's all I got. So whatever you got, do the same thing, all right? Last exercise. I'm gonna bring it out, slight bend in the elbow, chest out, pull it on up. One, two, three. We're gonna meet in the middle. Four, try not to swing. Five, six, and eight. Whew. Now, as y'all see, first started, we was doing like 15 to 20 reps. I told y'all these weights are too heavy for me, and I'm advanced. I've been doing this for a while, even though I did just finish the chest workout, but I'm not making excuses. So pick a weight where you can get those 10 to 15 reps. But again, you're going to get burnt out. This is high volume, high reps, short breaks, five minutes. I pretty much got a full sweat going on. Face is dripping, and I'm feeling good. So hopefully this is going to help y'all out. Again, I'm going to keep making these videos. Let me know if you like it. Please like, comment, subscribe. That helps my channel grow. Just watching the video is cool and getting views, but if you like it and engage, and let me know what I can improve on and what else you want me to help you on. It really helps my channel get seen more. So hopefully y'all support me. I'm making these free videos to support y'all. Be sure to subscribe. If you like the apparel, twalktalkgear.com. Follow me on Instagram at twalktalkgear. And yeah, man, I'm gonna keep bringing these videos. New uploads every Tuesday and Thursday at least. I got so many videos I'm setting on, I'll probably do more than that. But make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Oh, man, I'm sweating. But yeah, I understand it's hard. A lot of people want to build muscle. My main focus right now is focusing on people trying to build lean muscle or hard gainers and skinny guys that struggle to put on weight and muscle size. So if you need help on that, I got some free links down below for some uh, free ebooks. But if you really want, you know, to hone in and you want me to cater one-on-one, -on -one, online coaching program for you, completely customized with cookie cutter stuff based on you, your specific starting point, goals that will include meal plan, supplement list if you need it, uh, workout routine, depending on if it's at home or at the gym, completely catered to you. Just message me on Instagram at twalktalkgear. I'll respond or comment below, comment your email, 
and I'll follow up with you as soon as I see it, all right? But that's it for today's video. As always, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, because it's that simple. T-Walk the Hawk, I'll holler at y'all later. T-Walk hit the battlefield and go berserk. 20-inch arms pumping iron till you know it hurt. He looking like he probably fresh out the pen. But nah, he just consistent, young and fresh off the gym.